All right, everybody, just want to talk through planted ring dips. Um, it, 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 sometimes the naming makes it sound more complicated than it is. Uh, ring dip, set up the rings like you would normally. Uh, we're going to be putting our feet on the ground and keeping them on the ground. And so it's sort of a hybrid between a, a, like an unassisted ring dip where our feet are off the ground and we're really moving around and a box dip where our feet are on the ground, but we're on a static object. So I like these because it's sort of like, a, it allows us to have the play and mobility of a ring, but we have the feet on the ground to support us while we do it. So look at the height that I have right now, right around, I mean, maybe a little bit higher and you, you can adjust this, but right around the top of a box, or at least the bottom of the ring at the top of the box, maybe a little higher than that, plus or minus. Um, but not super high because you don't want to jam yourself up. You want to give yourself plenty of room. So frankly, even a little bit lower is probably better than a little bit too high. And then I'm just going to put my feet underneath me and lower myself down into this position. Look at me, my shoulder is below my elbow. I'm really, really deep in the ring. And then I can press back up to the top of this position. Ring dips as such. Uh, whenever you're teaching ring dips, remember the biggest thing if you come to the front dip. Yep. The biggest thing is keeping pressure this way. So, so the rings, I mean, more often than not, people have the ability to press themselves out, but what they do is they press and the rings want to drift out to the side. So your cueing as a coach should always be squeezing in, right? Like trying to drive down as we're applying that pressing power, we're squeezing in with our lats, pulling the rings into our sides. That's going to help us make us more successful. If you want to make this more challenging, you go from this flat footed position and you walk your feet out here and it takes a little bit of the weight out of the feet. And now I'm in a similar position doing my ring dip, but my legs are fully extended and that'll make these even more challenging. So for people who want to take it up another notch, they certainly can do it that way. Other than that, that's our plan to bring dip.